All right, sisters, welcome back to another a Louis Vuitton agenda walkthrough. And today, this is also going to be used for my Bible journaling ladies that are doing some journaling or using their agenda for a devotional area. And that is what I'm going to focus on only today. I'm not going to talk about my inserts, my planners, or anything like that, because this really helps... Um, uh, the rest of my channel because that is really what goes on on my channel is it's a faith-based channel so we're doing all kinds of uh, Bible devotions, Bible journaling, we're doing um, sermon notes and I'm doing a lot of teaching and so for me I do use my agenda and I will open it up and I'll again show you specifically how I use my agenda for that. You'll see the tabs here on the side and you'll notice that I have tabs for weekly, I have tabs for daily and of course do you see right there I have the devotional tabs um, and that's what we're going to kind of focus in on today. So I'm going to go over to the devotional and we're going to flip. And I call this my war binder part of my planner. And so um, I got all my inserts from this Etsy shop right here. I don't know her name, so here it is. And her link will be in the description box below, but her links have this. So she will start off with a page with a war binder. So a verse that really strikes me as very, very important in a season of my life or something that I'm going through, I'll put the scripture there and then um, I will go ahead and write, I declare, and then basically what that scripture is saying. And so this is really when you can declare war um, over things that feel like a danger to you or over your dreams, your passions, your gifts, your purposes, whatever that is, I use this for my war binder. I have several of these printed off. So you can have, you could have a war binder page for each one of your children. You could have a war binder page, you know, because each one of them are fighting differently. You're going to war differently for them. So you could have your own personal war binder for, for your child. You could have it for your marriage, for your work, for your dreams. And so you can Xerox as many of the uh, of these as you want and place them in your binder. Um, in the back are just some notes about, um, just some notes about uh, going to war and some things that I have positioned there. A cute insert that I absolutely love. Um, I will put her link in the description below also. Okay, so in her um, package, you also get these calendars. And I do monthly reading. So you will see here in April, um, I did some monthly reading here for April. You will see May here. Uh, there was my monthly reading for May and their different verses. Um, and May's theme was your identity in Christ. And now we are in, let me jump over to June. Hang here. I always put whatever month we're in right now toward the back. So I'm in June and June our focus is on uh, dealing with the devil. So if you want to join and you know you're excited and you're going to get your war binder put together and use these inserts, then I'm encouraging you to just, um, first of all, I'd say follow me on Instagram stories live because I do so much there where you will figure out where I'm getting my reading. I'll, I'll uh, hook you up to Cherie Sisters in Christ, which is a Facebook group. And together we are, um, we do readings for a whole month. And we will, um, her group really manages that well. That's something I just follow along because I want to get in the word and then I kind of do my own things along with her reading and then we kind of support each other. She has a great YouTube channel too, so here's her link. Um, and you can actually see her daily as she goes through each one of these verses and journals it and writes it out. I don't do that too much, but I will talk to you about certain things that are going on and I just, again, I love her support because it gets me in the word for everything else I'm doing. So, so, um, Cherie Sisters in Christ is the Facebook group, and she's always posting what we're studying for that month and what the verses are. So, again, this month we're talking about how we're dealing with the devil. These are all the verses, and each day that I am um, done, I highlight it. So, for example, today is June 12th. Um, we are talking about how the devil works, and so everything in yellow that I highlighted is um, how the enemy how the enemy is robbing you where he is at work. I'm actually going to probably do a lesson on this when we're all done. I'm going to talk about dealing with the devil and actually do a whole lesson on this. But right now, I'm amazed by every single verse. There's something that jumps out at how the devil's working, and so right now. Every day is a reminder of the devil's at work. And I don't want to bring, you know, um, I don't want to magnify that 
too much, but I want to be aware because we need to be smart. We really do as um, women in the word. And so anyway, that's cool. So you're welcome to join, but these come um, as inserts and that is what I will do. So I journal here and then of course we do gratitude. Here's my gratitude for May. Um, and so again, I just go with it. There's nothing really, uh, all my last ones are up toward the front. And then again, these prayer journals. And so if I'm listening to a Ted talk or, um, I love listening to faith based mes messages, I write my, um, devotion here, whatever I'm listening to. So if you're listening to any of my talks, which my station, um, I'm welcoming you to come subscribe and, and join the, we believe vlog vlogcast every week. I'm giving you a lesson to listen to with a verse and really what you can learn for that. So you can be using this. You can use this as um, your Bible study. This is another page. You could put the verse that I'm talking about, and then you can take notes right here. And um, it tells you here. Um, I love this. It says, what did I learn about myself and what changes can God make in my life? And so you can listen to it. And then over here, what did I learn um, here about God? And so I broke it down in sections. And so again, this is just... A Bible study that I, you know, listened to. I think it was probably Stephen Vertick from Elevation Church. I have some favorite pastors. Today it was me in April. And then my prayer requests again. You can fill one of these out, but you'll get your prayer needs. And now we're into June. And so June again will be all the scripture verses I'm reading. And then I have an empty piece of paper of just journaling what my theme is and how I want to go about that. Then my gratitude for June is here. And then here will be my prayer needs. Um, I will go and start filling this prayer needs sheet up as soon as my other one is filled because there's some prayers back there on that sheet that I'm still praying for, things that are still existing. And so, of course, my church family. I always think it's important to pray for your, your church family. And I'm also praying for my new and future church family because I feel like there's going to be a move in our life soon. We're going to be moving, um, I think, up to our lake house next year. So I'm... Just praying about work, what God wants to do there. Um, praying for my dad, my mom, my kids, um, and certain things that are going on there. Um, just There's probably nothing here that I need to hide, but there's just anything in detail I put here, and I write it out. And it'll tell you the date that you are probably praying about that, and then, you know, if, if, if that got in. Here's what sermon notes look like. So if you take this, you could take this out and take it to church. And you could keep all your sermon notes for the whole year. And you could actually put those, if you wanted to, over here in the months. You could keep all your sermon notes for the year. But this is nice. And if you need extra. If you want to do a reading log, she offers um, a reading log for New and Old Testament reading. And again, I'm doing mine with the Cherie Sisters in Christ. I'm not using her reading log. But if you really just wanted to read the Bible through, she has it all done for you. I will leave this link above. And this also came from the Etsy shop. So you could have this and kind of highlight. If you know, if you did your reading, you could go ahead and make a mark and just have this right in your, your planner too. So the devotional part is I have my vision board cut up with some things that I'm working on. And so I just laminated that and I put that in the front of my planner. So there's areas of breakthroughs that I'm looking for. My key verse for the entire year is here. And if you want to know more about that, check this channel right up above and I'll talk to you about how I get my word for the year. And also the link above is how I make my vision boards. So that's important too. And this is, like I said, in the very front. And then here is a list of my visions for the year. And I write them down with my word for the year and my verse for the year. And so I take down and I write down some yearly goals that really match um, my vision page. So you'll think, you'll see things here that um, says that I need to you know practice fixing my focus, um, own your dreams, inch forward on your passion project daily, um, discover your passion, what is truly inside of you. Um, God confidence, work on God confidence, not your own confidence, make um, energizing decisions, what naturally energizes you, you need to move toward that because that's truly where your passion is, is at, um, take small actions every single day, um, get in the presence, get in the presence of the gap, so what's holding you, the gap between um, your passion and where you are right now, like maybe your side hustle, you need to um, be present in that gap and be inching toward it. Roll with the punches. Not every day is going to be perfect. And feel the fear and do it anyway. That's one of my absolute favorites. And then be real. 
because really your passion is you it's real you can't fake your passion and so these are um, just some things that I write down that have to do around my yearly goals and how I'm gonna stay focused on my yearly goals this insert always come also comes in her packet if you um, if this helped you, give me a thumbs up. Get, leave me a comment. If you have any questions on anything, I will help you. I will get you connected in any way because I think it's so important that us ladies have an area that we can just write and journal and have quiet time with. And oh gosh, I enjoy I enjoy so much Stephen Furtwick. You can write him down. T D Jakes. I'll listen to him. And then again, don't forget to check out Cherie. Sisters in Christ, her Facebook page, and get your verses. If not, I suggest you screenshot this right now. Um, or again, follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram name, and you will see me doing these um, every morning. I kind of try to post them in the morning, what verse I did. Um, and you can follow me there, and you know you can set yours up any way you want. I feel like I want to write down every way, um, every verse that's teaching me how the devil's working, and so I'm just doing that. So every year, every month there's a different way that I'll take notes on what we're studying depending on what our topic is and then here's my gratitude now to end this I just posted a video this week in my we believe vlogcast which is called um, do not lose your focus and in that I'm teaching you how important it is to journal how important it is to have a war binder and sometimes this can look like overwhelming having all these pages and doing all of that so I'm simply gonna teach you how to grab a small journal how to write day one in the top of your journal and how to do three different um, journal entries and they're real simple and easy so go ahead and check the video above and that'll teach you how to get going in a very simple 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 way so you're just gonna want to grab a simple little journal and um, you can build up to stuff like this if this is what you know if you like this but if not all of her handouts you can um, download the documents and just print them off and I cut them and hole punched them to fit my binder and so I hope that this was a blessing remember that you are your own girl boss and so take control of your space and remember that God wants you to believe behold and become all he's created you to all right so I just want to end today's uh, vlog with a little bit of an encouraging word and it's going to come from Proverbs 423 that's which says um to guard your heart with all diligence um, for out of it springs the issues of life and that is just one of my favorite verses it's one reason why um, I try to gain knowledge and um, you know approach the Bible and learn different types of skills because your heart is such an important leadership tool it's a leadership tool with your marriage and with your kids and and with everything and so when we don't um, guard our heart our heart is so valuable and it's so important and it's where our emotions lie and it's it's the part that is attacked the most so I believe that we need to guard our hearts um, with all diligence and so having a war binder I think just helps us um, just create some space that we can build ourselves up with knowledge and wisdom and discernment so we can grab a verse and believe it we can grab a verse and behold it and that is what's going to help us become stronger and mold us and shape us to be the leaders that we need to be in our families, in our workplaces, and in our community. So.